the Haiti mission, the MSS forces in Haiti. This is a UN-backed mission. It is not a UN mission. That is why you find that they are not wearing the blue helmets that the UN usually wear. They are not blue helmets. This is a UN-backed mission. So the difference between a UN mission and a UN-backed mission is that a UN-backed mission is a mission from another country that has a coalition of other countries that has the blessings of the United Nations. So they are not answerable to the UN, they are answerable to the country that called or organized this uh, coalition of forces. So in the case of the MSS forces in Haiti, it is a US uh, mission. So this is a US-led mission that has come up with uh, a contingent of countries, Kenya being the lead, and then you have uh, Jamaica, you have other countries, Guinea, that have said that they will supply forces to Haiti. In a UN mission, by the way, another example of a UN-backed mission is AMISOM. AMISOM is an African Union mission in, uh, in Somalia, but it is uh, blessed with the United Nations. So that is a UN-backed mission. But uh, a UN mission is a mission that is uh, from the UN. It is answerable to the UN and those wear the blue helmets. Uh, for example, the UN mission in South Sudan, the UN mission in, uh, in, in Congo that has been there for a very long time, and UN missions across the world, uh, you can signify them by wearing the, 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 blue, the blue helmets. So that is the difference. Our forces uh, went to Haiti and uh, they got a very good uh, review just the other day by recapturing a hospital in Haiti. The university hospital in Haiti was recaptured and these are the fruits of, we are starting to see the fruits of the Kenyan forces in Haiti by recapturing a very critical infrastructure. A hospital is a very critical in infrastructure that has been recaptured now, uh, will be used by the Haitian government to try and attend to uh, wounded civilians as well as wounded uh, members of the forces who will be countering the gangs there. That is uh, the review of what is happening currently in Haiti. So we have started seeing the fruits of the Kenyan forces in Haiti. Just the other day, uh, first of all, Kenya has increased the number of troops uh, from uh, 200 uh, with an additional 200. So, so far we have 600 Kenyan troops in Haiti. But Kenya has also uh, assisted the Haitian police to recapture a hospital in Port-au-Prince. Uh, the university hospital and this is a major major win for the forces there as, as as we earlier stated or as we earlier discussed the role of the first contingent of forces is to, is to secure critical infrastructure that will assist the rest of the forces in total 2500 forces from different parts uh, of the world to come in and assist uh, Haiti to get back on its feet so well they secured uh, the university hospital which is a major major win that is going to assist um, the forces as well as the public in general. This hospital was captured five months ago at the height of the breakout of the gangs when they also uh, managed to break out people from, uh, from the prisons and ETC. So it was quite an intense activity during that time and they captured this hospital and just recently they engaged into in a very, very... Uh, difficult time when they engaged with uh, the forces there you find that uh, a lot of gunfire exchanges went on and at the end of the day the forces the asian forces and the mss forces there that is the kenyan forces uh, were managed to recapture that hospital and now uh, it is in the hands of the haitian government even the uh, the prime minister visit, visited the hospital and went there and also you found that uh, they were able to man manage to secure that hospital. The reason why they don't want to see barbecue initiating with, uh, with barbecue with the prime minister coming up together with a dialogue and also mm -hmm. there is something that is going on. Mm -hmm. They do, they want our soldiers mm -hmm. to arrest barbecue or kill our soldiers. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us the reason why they want that to be done and you tell them the a function of our Kenya police. Mm -hmm. Is it to kill someone or mm -hmm. to do what? Tell them something. Well, um, before, before we even get to that, yeah. just uh, I think it is on Tuesday, 
yeah our forces 200 more yeah. went to Haiti so right now we have a total of 600 yeah. of the Kenyan forces in Haiti that means that the forces now have grown and only 400 are remaining here in Kenya because we were or we promised Kenya promised a thousand forces yeah. over the 2500 that are going to be contributed by also other countries so well barbecue has made Haiti suffer mm. yeah barbecue has brought a lockdown in Haiti people cannot uh, move freely people cannot live freely. And if a person is coming to infringe in your freedoms and rights, mm. then you really don't want that person to be mm. to stay any longer because of the pain and the suffering that uh, the person has brought. So that is why you're finding that uh, many Haitians out there supported the move to have Kenyans uh, mm. in, the, in, 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 their, in their soil. And you can find um, even different medias which uh, engage the locals. You'll find that they're saying, the locals are saying that Kenyans are welcomed as long as they, of, of course, as long as they uh, go with the laws, as how the laws are supposed to, to go, and uh, not uh, arrest people without uh, having cause or uh, causing harm to, to the civilians. So it is, uh, it is a moment where the country is seeing hope. A country that has lost around 500,000 people to go to outside countries because there was unrest in their country. A country that has lost people to kidnappings and death and, and, and threats mm. is now seeing a hope, something coming uh, that will give them a future. So mm. Kenyan forces are there to, first of all, restore order in Haiti. Mm. They are not there to, to keep peace. True. This is not a, so uh, we can say a peacekeeping mission. It is not a peacekeeping mission. Mm. Uh, because they are not going to stand in the way and then allow people to negotiate. That is not the case. These MSS forces are going there to make sure mm. that uh, Haiti returns back to its normalcy. Mm. That means they are going to engage the, 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 the gangs and they are going to side. They are already siding with the government mm -hmm. that is given. So they are not there to say that uh, the government is on one side and the gangs are on one side. No, they are going to help the government to counter these, these uh, insurgencies or these gangs. So that is the role of the Kenyan forces. In Do you think barbecue will give up on this fight? Do you think he's going to give up and say that, ah, I've decided to go to prison, I've decided to be arrested? Do you think it may reach a time that barbecue may decide to give in yeah. to the prime minister's demand? It is not certain because uh, barbecue has, uh, we can say he has come from, a very, f from very far. And uh, if you look at his history, uh, it, it goes way back, uh, mm. even during the presidency of Juvenal Moise. Mm -hmm. So this means that Babacu has, he has that goal that he wants to achieve. Mm. Recently it became political and he also wanted also to be uh, one of the presidents in Haiti uh, in history. So Babacu has a goal to achieve and uh, I don't think he's going to just lay down his arms. He's going to put up a fight and uh, I know all the forces, the Kenyan forces, the MSS forces, uh, are expecting, together with the Haitian police, they are expecting a fight from from Babacu. Mm. Even in re in uh, recapturing that hospital, they engage in a fight. So, mm. Babacu is not there to to just allow people to come and then take their arms and say I surrender because, of course, mm. Babacu will go to jail. Uh, if anything, he will be captured and he will go to jail and possibly he will never be released because. He has committed crimes against humanity, mm. killed a lot of people. So uh, come what, what may, he will put up a fight and I know they are expecting a fight. As you can see that recently Barbecue decided to recruit children. What mm. can you say about that? Why is he coming and recruiting children in his gang? It, it is unfortunate. Mm, it is unfortunate. Sad. And before you even come to that, I have to make sure that uh, I give also people the context of the Kenyan forces that yeah. are going there. These are elite squads. Yeah. You know, when people were saying that Kenyan forces are going to Haiti, many thought that there were these regular uh, yeah. police officers that we see around here. These are elite forces. These are Reke squad, uh, SOG. We have the Border Patrol unit. These are elite squad that mm. are at the rank almost of the military forces here in Kenya, True. you know, advanced military forces. So when when we are speaking about the Kenya police in Haiti, we're not just speaking about anyone. We are speaking about the best of the very best here in Kenya mm. that have trained for quite some time and even gone to urban warfare. They understand urban warfare very well. True. It's only that uh, they've not actually trained in the Haitian landscape and they have the Haitian police to tell them where to go and where not to go. That being said, it is unfortunate that uh, barbecue is using uh, children right. in his course 
because uh, you know a warlord is a warlord if you're presenting your your own views regardless of what you're doing an armed struggle or a peaceful struggle at least there are some there's some lines that you're not supposed to cross True. if you go to crossing those lines and using children uh, to take up arms against uh, the government or other people then i think that is beyond that person is beyond saving True. yeah these are the tactics that are being used by terrorists uh, in, the, in, in the Middle East, terrorists in, in some parts of Africa. So there is a need for us to have that genuine conversation because we understand people will always look at this thing twofold. Mm -hmm. Some people will support barbecue mm -hmm. because of the disgruntlement that uh, people have against the West, yeah. against uh, people who have had power in Haiti. And that is okay yeah. because we have freedom of speech. Sure. But then again, we have also to consider that and, and look at the, the real thing that is happening. If you're using children to to fight uh, the, this uh, the government, then what generation are we expecting to yeah. rule over? And in just Haiti? want to negotiate with the government. Exactly. Yeah. So it is very unfortunate that we are going to that extent, but it is something that many uh, gang leaders and criminals use. Yeah. They use the innocence of children because, uh, as someone who is underage, there is a reason why we say someone is underage because they are not mature enough. Sure. They cannot think uh, beyond what they are seeing right now. Uh, a person who is grown up will know that if I take this arm and I start engaging these people, I might lose my life sure. and people who are depending on me will, will have lost. Mm. But a child will not uh, perceive all these things. They will not see beyond that. Even if you look at what is happening in, uh, in Mexico and other Latin American, Colombia, which are fighting uh, drug, or drug warlords mm -hmm. that are fighting the government, they use children. And that is a sad situation because when you're using a children, when you're using a child, that means that you are not respecting the laws of nature True. to allow uh, children to grow up, mature, and make their own decision. That one will be taken to uh, akin to you are trying to uh, sabotage their future. You are also taking away their innocence mm. and uh, you are radicalizing these children to only follow you. Boni, tell yeah. them something. Hello guys, today we are looking also at Haiti, at yes. the new developments that have been happening in Haiti. Yeah. Yes, we are very proud of our Kenya police. They yeah, are doing are. an extraordinary job to and raising the flag of Kenya so high in mm -hmm. Haiti. People mm -hmm. were saying that our police are going to face a hard time there in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Our police are going to be killed. Our police, they don't know how to speak in French. They mm -hmm. don't know uh, the language of people in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Our police don't communicate so well. What can you say about our police? First of all, Jeff, mm -hmm. let me let me speak to our nationals in yeah. the best language that they understand. Yeah. The police in Kenya, Watenda Pale Haiti, they will flop, yeah. they will come back like this, like this. Kenya, our police service are professionals. True. When they go out there to represent our nation, they represent as well. And for the matter of fact, they are well equipped yeah. to go out there. So Juzi, our police officers went to Haiti yeah. and uh, they, they, they managed to recapture a port. Yeah. Just the other day, we were speaking about them uh, aiding the Haitian police yeah. to recapture a hospital. Yeah. Today, they've recaptured a port from the gangs. Mm -hmm. And that is a major, major win yes. for our police officers yeah. in Haiti. And we keep cheering them on. Yeah. And that shows that, uh, you know, the professionalism in our police officers and uh, the fact that what we get on as I say, my police officers, what a, what a, what a fail just because you have a different political opinion. Yeah. My friend, it doesn't happen like that, yeah. and it cannot happen like that. The police officers that were sent in Haiti are professionals, and they are representing our yeah. our, our country very well. And that, withstanding, mm -hmm. even the police officers in this country, who are in this country and keeping us safe. Yeah, true. Our professionals. Well, what I can say about the Kenya police, yes. I saw the video today in the morning. It wasn't an easy job. It was it a wasn't. gun battle mm -hmm. with the gangs. It mm -hmm. wasn't easy that they thought that the police, you know very well that police fighting protesters right now in Nairobi, mm -hmm. they are fighting innocent protesters. But yes. there, those mm -hmm. people are armed. It was a gun battle between mm -hmm. the gangs and the police. Mm -hmm. And no police was killed. Mm -hmm. There were no police that was killed. But, and they uh, decided to rescue the Mm. What did they the port. the port? That shows the professionalism yeah. and mm. the, 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 the fact that they were well trained sure. and ready for this. Yeah. Secondly, you know, 
they were there to the assignment is to recapture this critical infrastructure as we said earlier the first one was the hospital to make sure that when someone is hurt they can easily get medical attention and the second one now is the port to make sure that if they need supplies from the sea they will come it will come through the port and it will not have any difficulty to reach yeah. them yeah. so these are very critical infrastructures that the police had to go and maintain uh, inclusive of also of the prime minister's uh, residential mansion and everything yeah. to make sure that uh, we have a system or a structure or a country that can work first yeah. of all True. before now they go to gang infested regions they have somewhere they can go back to mm. and and make sure that they have the supplies that they need so that was very very important yeah bonnie when we finish mm. what do we expect from our kenya police right now they have proven mm. what what how do you think the gang leader who is mm. barbecue is feeling how mm. does is the guy afraid or what can is your opinion what he, can you say he must be a person who is afraid yeah because one this infrastructure were earning him a lot of money okay. if you're looking at uh, a port if someone captures a port of course the port was not uh, dormant this yeah. port was still active even True. when it was uh, controlled by the gangs everything that was passing from the port mm. to the country had to pay some levy to the gangs yeah. right now they don't have that levy yeah. that's why they were fighting so that uh, this uh, government or mss forces could not have control but fortunately the mss forces have uh, gotten the control of this this critical infrastructure and that means that they have less money to work with you know if we say in criminal world you follow the money True. and if you want to to kill a gang if you want to kill a criminal entity just cut the supply of money and that is the first thing that uh, our our forces there are doing they are cutting the supply of that money that means that they are cutting the operation funds of these gangs and soon enough they will not have anything else to pay their people they'll not have anything else to operate with and that is how a gang will, will die yeah. yeah what can you say the last thing to the mm -hmm. kenya police the kenyans and the haiti gang leader who is just 